Hey there, Malheads, Flying V here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and reassemble a PS3 6 axis controller. This is the controller without the DualShock functionality, it just says 6 axis, it doesn't say DualShock 3 and 6 axis, just says 6 axis. So, with that being said, let's begin. So, first you want to go to the back of the controller and remove the five screws on the back. They're all the same size, just like on the DualShock PS3 controller. Take a fine flip set screwdriver and remove all five of the screws. Okay, once all the screws are out, um, you want to unclamp a clamp that is in this area right here. So, now if you haven't opened up your controller before, it's going to be stuck and it's going to take you a long time, but you should eventually get it. So, um, once you get it, you can simply lift up and um, pull the back piece away there you go now we have the rest of the controller now first you can lift up the battery and its little uh, uh, casing thing here you could remove the battery if you want to, but I'm not going to do it um, in this video. Just take into account when you're removing the battery, just be extra careful because you don't want to um, uh, break the cable. Anyways, to get the controller out of the casing, you want to remove this one screw here. It's the same size as the other five screws I mentioned before. Take the same fine Phillips head screwdriver and remove that screw. Okay, once the screw is out here, you can lift the board up and a bunch of the pieces and such will come out with it like uh, you know, like the L1 and R1 bumper buttons will come out as well and you can remove the buttons, you can remove the rubber pads for the D-pad these four buttons and the PlayStation button, start and select button you can remove the PlayStation logo, piece of plastic. Uh, you can remove this D pad, and of course, the rest of the buttons. If you wish, you could remove the the plast uh, the rubber things and the thumbsticks. So, now the PS3 controller is completely okay. Disassembled. Now it's time to put the controller back together. First of all, you can take the PlayStation logo piece of plastic and stick it back in there. You can take rubber padding here for these select start and PS buttons. Stick it back in there. Here's the D-pad. In there here's this little three prong thing you can put it back in any way um you want um, um just make sure it's put in like that rubber pad for the d-pad you can stick back in here circle button goes back in there square button goes back in there x button goes back in there triangle button goes back in there Rubber padding goes right here. You can remount the uh, the L1 and R1 buttons. Next, um, you can actually you can. Uh, you can remount the little rubber things for the thumbsticks back on the actual thumbsticks. Okay. Now, it's time to put the board back into the controller. Go back in here like that. It may take you a little bit. To get the L1 and R1 buttons back into their proper places, but um, you should eventually be able to get it. Now 
Yeah. I'm gonna do this off camera. Okay, so I've got the controller board back into the casing. Now you can take these little black pieces and stick them in there. Like that. There's the other one. There you go. Now I can take the pad for the uh, for the battery and uh, remount that. Or actually, wait. First, you gotta put this screw. Okay, back now in. you can put the battery back in its proper place. Um, then you want to take your back piece and well, it fell out again. Okay, so you take this piece here. You kind of want to take these ends here and kind of put them back on the rails of those little black pieces that go in between the uh, between the bumper buttons and triggers. I mean the L1 and R1 and L2 and R2 buttons. Okay, it's back in. Now you want to take your five screws and put them all back in their proper holes. Okay, once you've put all the screws back in, your PS3 six-axis controller is is uh, completely reassembled and is ready for use. So. With that being said, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and share the video. May the force be with you. Mosh hard.